Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello friends, uh, welcome back to online course structure, form and architecture, the Synergy. Uh, today uh, we are in lecture number 7 that is connecting architecture and structure part 2. In part 1 we have seen like uh, two different category, right, ornamentation of structure and structure as ornament. So, we have also you know discussed different uh, examples like uh, starting from Parthenon to the modern building stock exchange uh, in New York. So, where we have seen that how a typical beam column structure is giving some ornamentation, some decoration with some you know Dory, Ionic or Corinthian style. Even in the later on stage, we have seen some buildings where some other kind of ornamentation being done. In the second category, what we have discussed? Uh, that is basically the structure act as ornament. So, structure as ornament was the category and we have discussed few building where we have seen a museum, then we also see that uh, domical structure. So, these are the category and I am sure that you have also uh, you know identified some of the building under the category. So, let us move on uh, to other three you know which was uh, remaining in that part uh, in this lecture. So, again uh, to brief about that, so it is basically depending on the architect, the designer like how uh, he or she will go with the structural uh, architectural and structural outcome. So, depending on that sometimes we have seen the dominance of architecture, the form and sometimes it may be the dominance of structure and sometimes it is uh, like something um, the ignorance uh, of the basic requirement or the structural arrangement which can be a very simplistic solution to that form, but create something different uh, and interesting one. So, here uh, we will discuss about three concept, one is structure as architecture, structure accepted in architecture, structure ignored in architecture in form making. Again uh, already I mentioned then also uh, I, uh, I thought that I should clear it out the when we say structure ignored, um, be sure that there will be no compromisation on the structural safety, stability and other parameters. Okay? But when you look into the building, we will not really think about the structural arrangement, typical arrangement. So, um, let us move to uh, the category here the structure as architecture and the cover page itself like this opening slide itself uh, clear everything. So, this is uh, the example of uh, some you know, you know arrangement of structural uh, parts, okay, some truss and other thing was used in this building and finally, the outcome a tower. Okay. This tower is having the symmetry and from a distance is looked very beautiful even you go have a closer look though it is having some chaos in uh, the visual form, but giving some nice experience. So, here the structure itself this is a tower simple tower arrangement of you know structural arrangement in order and give you the overall architecture. right? Even if we take um, the example of um, like telephone tower okay, or something um, like radio tower or something like that, which is also looking similar to that, not that much aesthetically designed or so, but then also sometimes also we like them. right? So, these are something where uh, it is basically a structure, but act as architecture. So, this is another picture of the Eiffel Tower. So, where uh, like architecture that consisted of structure and only structure, what exactly it is? It is having some heavy word, the focus is on structure. 
okay, and the form whatever uh, finally uh, you know came out for existing building, so that is different. But overall, looking at that, we give more weightage to structure. So dominance of structure in that I would rather say, and this being normally used when we require to create space either for very long span, very tall buildings and sometimes maybe in order to make your structure light. We can recall the example of some stadium, say Olympic stadium in Munich, where we have seen that some tensile fabric uh, you know structure being used to cover up the you know spectator sitting area. So, that is basically example of structure okay? uh, and then finally overall outcome comes at the architecture. So, sometimes to make some structure uh, the portable, okay? so it should be with the structure. So, let us see some more example. Here it is uh, again uh, ice skating uh, ring where it is uh, uh, say basically the skating ring where uh, hockey being played and uh, again it is uh, in you know in USA. So, the basically if you see this is something like indoor stadium where you need this area column free and for that you need a kind of structure which will support it. We have seen that sales structure could be one of the option to go with where we can create this much of span, column free span which will help to you know make all this activity happen without any disturbance. So, this is a design where it is just the structural arrangement if you see from outside again it is looking like uh, uh, you know fish uh, uh, the overall form, but inside basically it is having a member at the center this rib which will getting connected uh, from the bottom. So, again uh, it is fixed with the if you see in detail, so it is fixed with the tensile cabin. So, with everything uh, like every arrangement the purpose is to solve to create the space uh, like um, column free and for the long span this structure act as architecture. So, here the structure dominance is being seen if you see all through. So, from both the side at the middle there is a rib and then uh, it is being connected okay, with a symmetrical design and finally, long span support with structure. So, this is one example of structure as architecture and many indoor buildings. You know if you search uh, some good indoor buildings, so you will get that this is uh, basically a structure rather than uh, a form. So, whatever the structure being created with a basic form, so that come as a structure as architecture. Uh, and who does not know this building? This is the Millennium uh, Dome, the very, very huge dome being created to for the celebration of the third millennium uh, in London. So, here you see again that this is a tension, uh, tensioned fabric structure the earlier day. Uh, we uh, used to talk about that which is being supported with the cable and some vertical post okay, where you will get this compression uh, in the structure. This is the inside uh, during the construction the, this is a huge dome and the main experience when you see this uh, structure. So, experience is, is a huge structure okay, and uh, then the form creation overall it is coming as architecture, this is a schematic section you can imagine the span again it is for the long span we used this kind of structure and in order to make it stable with the minimal number of uh, you know vertical poles. So, reduction in the self weight of the roofing system was required and that is why fabric uh, was used in this uh, case. So, again this is example where uh, it is being formed uh, as a dome, but uh, definitely it is a structural arrangement that helped us to um, design such kind of um, beautiful uh, space. So, for again this is one example where uh, making space uh, column free 
uh, was the purpose and the solution with the minimalistic particle support with the tensile cabin and the fabric tension fabric it all the structural arrangement could help us to do that and it is there uh, in front of you. Now, come to uh, the high rise building the moment the high rise building uh, um, you know came into the picture where uh, we had to create uh, some building uh, tall buildings. So, there uh, the main fundamentals to focus on the structure rather than the overall outcome or the form. So, in earlier days the structural uh, you know arrangement of those high rise building was the main concern and there are different para parameters to be handled with the structure. Okay. So, uh, while discussing with different kind of uh, loads on building we have discussed that okay, one is your gravity load. Okay. So, all vertical loads like the all say a dead load and live load which is acting uh, towards the ground is one okay. for any building. Uh, so, it will have a self weight. So, it is acting to the gravitation, but along with that there will be some lateral force and when it is high rise building the speed of uh, wind will increase. So, lateral force as wind load will have uh, some impact on that. And along with that the seismic one when there will be a movement of the earth surface. So, that will also create some lateral pressure it also we discussed about the flood load or the subsoil load uh, the hydraulic pressure to the building. So, all these lateral load played a very important role and especially for the high rise apart from everything even it is not in earthquake prone. So, wind uh, is having a problem. So, in order to protect it we must have some adequate structural arrangement. So, here if you see this is the John Hancock building in Chicago. So, here uh, the truss tube structure forms uh, a major component of the visual attraction. So, here if you see the building. So, first uh, those major members you see that there are some vertical members okay, uh, and then there are horizontal members along with that uh, this is very interesting to know um, that there are some cross members. Now, what exactly these are? These are the structural arrangement. Now, why this cross is required we will discuss in detail, but here also I just give you one example. Say for uh, you just uh, um, use two stick like this okay, which is being supported at the ground and you just make another stick here okay. and you fix it very lightly you can tie with some knot. Okay. You can take mat stick or something and then you try to put the pressure. So, what will you observe that it will show in this direction if you put pressure from this it will show in this direction. Now, you just make addition. So, the same frame you take another mastic and connect it diagonally and then try to put the pressure here. You will see the deformation this sway will be minimized and if you add from this direction it will be more. So, this is basically called structural bracing. Okay. Here it is for the lateral force okay, uh, and placed vertically, but there are examples where you have the bridges okay, and it is placed horizontally. I will show you some of the pictures uh, during the discussion on this you know high rise structure or application of this uh, structural bracing. So, here in this building also you see that it is basically to resist the lateral load and minimize the sway uh, with the uh, like against the wind pressure. So, overall it is the structural arrangement and truss tube is one of the category where you know uh, we have certain limitation like for traditional concrete uh, frame structure we can go up to say 30, 40 okay, uh, meter height uh, and beyond that we need some more arrangement. So, we go for the trust, we can go for tubular structure, bundle tube structure. So, we will have detailed discussion on that, that how you move it because uh, in with the increase of height you know the load uh, will be more to the building and uh, that is why we have to take care of that. So, I just give you small, small example suppose how load being calculated in a building. 
So, for this particular slab, so the dead load of this will transfer the load in this slab. Now, if you draw this load diagram, it will give you something like that. So, it is being cumulated, the load here will be just load of column uh, of uh, the upper floor and all, but if you calculate this, so that means addition of all this floor to this. So, that is why you can see the load transfer to the ground is quite huge and it is like a step uh, for diagram or something. So, here also for high rise building, we have to take care of that. So, structure is very important for this and there is some limitation when we will talk about the evolution of structural system for high rise building, then we will get to know different kind of uh, structures to be used for different kind of high, different kind of purpose and span. So, here with this example, uh, the intention to show you that for in the modern building also the structural arrangement just bring like this structure as architecture in this category. Here it is another O14 building in Dubai looking very organic. So, what exactly it is? This surface is made of concrete rather uh, it is having some perforation. It is also having a core. Now, what is core? So, in a building, in a high rise building, many a cases you know, uh, we design a core, okay, and which essentially you know uh, serve all these services uh, like the vertical circulation, the other thing. Along with that, uh, normally we use some you know very you know strengthy material, some shear walls or something, which will support. Uh, the other uh, you know external surfaces. So, where you can reduce the thickness of the column or something. So, we will discuss and normally this core concept uh, will come into picture when we discussed about, we will discuss about uh, your high rise building. But here it is something where different perforation of different size creating some kind of you know wrapping to the building, but here uh, this is again a structure. So, this along with the core, the perforated reinforced concrete outer shell and core ensure the vertical and lateral loads. So, here it is a form being created with some structural material with the core connecting it and overall it is uh, representing the architecture. So, here also it is one example of structure as architecture and this is from uh, like uh, Dubai O14 building. Again, this is from Dubai, what is called Burj Khalifa. So, for the tallest structure, uh, and there are many structures are coming up which is even uh, you know higher than this one, but this is a completed building. So, here if you see, this is basically this is followed a bundle tube structure. Okay. So, for example, in Gross. Uh, you have some tube, right? So you place them together. Okay, so the strength of that to you know uh, resist the lateral load will be much more higher. And again, if you observe it carefully, all the high rise building nowadays being made with the increase of height, they reduce the cross section area in order to reduce the lateral load of the wind. And this is something where it is uh, very staggered. So, with the increase of flow, there is some drop and some of the towers just you know dropped at that time and it will not continue. So, overall the creation here is basically the structural arrangement. The way we put, we want to create a stable structure. So, we should uh, go with something a step and then you know reduce the weight and then finally, whatever the outcome is in front of you uh, a high rise building, the tallest building as of now uh, in the world. So, here it is another example of structure as architecture. So, bundle tube structure makes this architecture strong and still tall resisting vertical and lateral loads. So, lateral loads normally it is very, very, very important for the high rise. We will also discuss that when we discuss different you know mechanism how to reduce the load, what uh, should be the exact structural arrangement to overcome that wind load. 
Yes. So, uh, as we at the beginning of this, uh, we discussed that this structure as architecture, we can give uh, take example from where uh, we have to create long span and we have discussed like millennium dome and then the other one, uh, your um, skating ring and then sometimes for tall structure, then we discussed about Burj Khalifa, uh, then uh, John Hancock building and then also we discussed about uh, the row 14 building. Here it is uh, basically for making your structure light. So, then the solution is you can go with the tension fabric structure. The you know earlier uh, lecture we have discussed so many. Uh, one example from your Arizona State uh, University campus that you know sky song structure, but here also it is just the arrangement of the vertical post. If you can see through uh, in detail, so these are you know tension given tension. Uh, these are all tension fabric which is tied up with the cable to that uh, post which is fixed outside. So, that all spectators can get some uninterrupted view of the activity whatever the games are played in the middle. So, they can enjoy at the fullest. So, this is also required. Uh, so, it is basically a structural arrangement and structure itself whatever the structure you made with minimalistic form creation and all. Uh, that acts as a architecture. Now, come to this uh, structure accepted. Now, definitely here uh, just I would like to say what exactly it is structure accepted or structure ignored. We cannot ignore structure, we have to have accept the structure, okay. otherwise how our building will uh, be stable, but here the concept is where uh, whatever the structure in form creation being there, we accept it. We do not try to deviate it from that okay? and we just try to put in order so that it will not really you know disturb the creation or the form that we wanted. Right? Now, how it is different from other three category that categories that we have discussed? Here, whatever uh, the structure says will follow with that, okay? but along with that the form to be created. So, say for example, here in this uh, example this cover photo is uh, you all know I guess uh, this is the pantheon in Rome which is having the huge hemispherical domical roof structure on top, but how it is being supported? Let us see. So, this is a painting I have taken uh, Pantheon. So, where you see that uh, this is a basically a you know dome which is placed on a cylinder. So, very simplistic uh, form creation, but it could be very simple like uh, a dome is being created and the cylinder. So, composition if you see uh, the you know in uh, the first year when you start learning graphics or descriptive geometry. So, there we try to figure it out the composition with sphere, with cylinder. So, this is a simplistic form of this structure, but now how uh, beautifully is being placed. So, there is some void being created, some entrance somewhere, this is used of some you know uh, Corinthian column and then solid void, solid void all this creation even the uh, some you know curvings in the rooftop, overall it is giving something beyond your uh, cylinder and your hemispherical dome structure. You can see uh, in, in detail, so how this is being created. So, here the structure says it is a cylinder heavy mass at the top at that time, uh, definitely we are um, did not uh, have the technology to reduce the thickness of the structure steel was not there. So, on that it is basically a load bearing compressive structures. So, uh, all loads being carried by the wall and the support, but then also uh, it is uh, being created in the sense where whatever the structure is coming it is accepted that is considered that is visible, but with some modification that is being placed to create this nice ambience. This is uh, the simplest one proposed uh, by Le Corbusier, the Domino house with 
uh, basically uh, simple your column and then you have slab and in order to access uh, you have staircase simplistic. So, here it is just the structure no final you know any ornamentation to it nothing added extra to it. So, an open floor plan consisting of concrete slab supported with the minimum number of thin reinforced concrete. So, here it is uh, very important to note that at times when uh, in history where there was some crisis so, um, then also the shelter was required. So, with the minimalistic form you can go with that. So, here whatever the structure comes accept it we do not need any alternation and many a building very simple building in the history and in the recent time also when we go for the mass housing low cost affordable housing will uh, still uh, follow this kind of you know minimalistic form where whatever the structure will come with little modification in that uh, we bring that. So, the structure accepted in form making is one example there I put it. This is New York uh, Chrysler building here also it is a beautiful example of the steel structure, but here it is not exposed overall creation if you see that it is giving a nice form, but all these are made uh, with the structural thing. So, here structure is accepted as it goes up up and then we just uh, accept that we do not try to deviate it much from the form creation for the form creation. So, this is another modern example in this. So, basically uh, to summarize this particular category. So, whatever the structure comes in that process we accept it, it may be exposed, it may be hidden, but we do not divide uh, like uh, we do not really deviate from whatever the structure says to uh, solve the problem. Again, this is for habitat 67, nice arrangement of your you know some cubicle arrangement uh, here, like your rectangular block being placed, different housing unit. The purpose was to give the nice view to all of uh, the you know resident in that. So, here also like to maintain the stability, whatever the arrangement, whatever the arrangement one after another to be placed, it was maintained. So, again this could be one example under the structure accepted and uh, you will also find more and share with me uh, like which can be you know incorporated in this category. So, we can uh, enhance this particular uh, database in days to come. Now, uh, this is the last but not the least under five different category where we get connected with structure architecture. Uh, then architecture structure something in that manner and where structure ignored. And again, again, again I am saying that this ignored is not leading to the compromisation to the structural requirement we do not compromise because after all your uh, outcome whatever the architecture will bring into the real world that should be stable okay? and people they can experience it um, like without fear. So, that should be safe also, but in order to give some organic form or something which is unorthodox. So, there um, uh, sometimes we ignore the uh, typical structure that could come we just ignore that. So, basically here structure ignored is in form making and not considering to give up aesthetically aesthetic forms to your architecture. So, this is a uh, uh, creation uh, here in uh, Ronchem, France. This is uh, the chapel of Notre Dame. So, here if you see the structural considerations played very little part, okay? very little part in determination of the form. See uh, in this example like this huge mass being created okay? and this roof as because now the material is available we can think of uh, reducing the thickness of the structure, we can go for a cantilever of a desired uh, length with uh, due consideration of structure uh, requirement to support it. So, then this is one example where structure is being ignored in form making. 
This is another example uh, designed by Jaha Hadid, Riverside Museum, Glasgow. So, here also if you see this is uh, basically the form, the plan if you see that is some um, matching with the site okay, and as well as the wave. So, where in, uh, in the section if you see that it is having some irregular uh, roofing system, so which is not very simplistic uh, structure, but here uh, whatever is required to make this form to match with the environment and the concept of the designer. Uh, so, we will go with that and accordingly we will select some structure to make this. So, here also the structure, the typical structure that could come uh, is ignored and then um, uh, this is placed uh, like uh, with just the form creation and this is a very beautiful example under this category structure ignored. This is from uh, Singapore. Here also if uh, you see this is a form of a flower, so again it is cell structure being used here, but definitely to make this it is elevated supported with some you know like thick and thin um, vertical support. So, overall this uh, creation is something where we cannot really think about the structure. Looking at the building, it is basically the form that comes first in our mind. And here we again this can come in structure ignored, where it could be supported in a different manner or can minimalize uh, the application of the structure. Uh, we can also go for some cost saving, but anyway here the main focus was to make your architecture uh, little bit organic and here that is why the structure is ignored in form making. And uh, this is uh, the last example under this category. This is uh, again a form of a nautilus. So, this is a resort in Mexico where you can see this form. So, looking at this we cannot really give uh, what exactly the structure. So, as uh, is, it is definitely a shale structure kind of thing and as because it is derived from a nature, you see the interior everything, every space creation is the form, the architectural form or the organic form that comes first uh, to create this. So, structure again uh, ignored in form making and definitely in order to make it stable whatever required uh, was considered in that. So, these are the further reading uh, already uh, I have given in the earlier site. So, if we want to summarize it in today's, uh, today's lecture what we learned? The first example, the first category was about structure as architecture. We have taken example of Eiffel Tower uh, or some high rise building where we have seen uh, even Burj Khalifa where basically it is the structural arrangement to protect your a building from your gravity or lateral load all imposed load on it and finally, the outcome is uh, really a form. So, structure act as architecture. In the second category where we also discussed about accept uh, structure. So, structure accepted there means whatever the form like in order to make uh, the structure uh, make the architecture whatever the structural requirement. Uh, requirements come into picture, we fit it, we do not uh, actually deviate it from that, but in order to give the completeness, we give some you know other uh, you know arrangement of that, but definitely overall looking at that there will maintain a balance between whatever the structure is required, you can say that it is adequate. But in uh, the last category, the structure ignored in form making where the form was given emphasis and for that the typical uh, or optimal use of structural require like arrangement and requirements was not followed being ignored uh, to give this particular form. But again uh, this ignorance will not having any relation with the like, compromisation of the uh, structural stability, steepness and safety. So, that overall uh, you know, ambience in all these examples we see that uh, there are something 
which is uh, predominating. So, we have seen different dominance either sometimes in architectural form, sometimes with the structure, sometimes the combination of both and sometimes the total ignorance of uh, structure in form making and it is the free flow design of uh, by the architects. So, these are different kind of thing where we have uh, like discussed so far in two lectures and this is very uh, you know um, important two lectures and what I suggest you all that uh, you I, I could uh, like could add more uh, pictures or more examples to it, but uh, intentionally I just explained of different variety taking from different era different examples. So, I would suggest that you also do this exercise and you just try to figure out some of the buildings from uh, the country from the overall you know you know across the globe and you try to feed out you give this building is basically can come into this category. So, there may be some cases of same building can come under two category, but there will be something called predominance. So, looking at this as first instance which one will uh, be the you know in your mind, so that you can put that building in the category. And uh, with that we just uh, discussed uh, about different form either with the concept of architecture, structure relationship, quality, structure relationship, here it is basically connecting both, we discussed about that. Now, the next lecture will be very much interesting that is structural transformation in architectural history like starting from the primitive age stone hinge tree house and now the modern installed structure how it transform ok. So, we will discuss uh, that in the upcoming lectures on the structure transformation in history and till then uh, have a nice uh, time thank you.